Hi guys, welcome back to AQA Certificate for the Mathematics GCSE. Today we're on Chapter 3.3, .3, Drawing and Sketching Graphs. This is a great B video. I hope you enjoy it and let us start. So there aren't a lot of people who know what is the difference of drawing a graph and sketching a graph. For drawing, it is essential that it is accurate and you have to use um, graph papers so every single point must be well at least close to accurate it cannot be one um, coordinate off or anything like that even half is not acceptable so yeah that is highly accurate but sketching on the other hand it's really rough it can be out of shape, it can be basically anything, but as long as it um, works as that specific graph, say um, for x cubed graph, it would look kind of like this, but I don't know where the x or y is, I just need to draw kind of a cross, then plot which y axis uh, uh, y intercept it is then I will get the mark for it this is how you sketch and obviously not on the computer because that's uh, just ridiculously uh, difficult and yeah that's how you sketch phew barely fits my graph paper onto the screen recording and what I need to do now is to set the center zero zero or the origin whatever you want to say that is as a red dot now what we need to uh, know about um these kind of graphs is to wait yep i forgot what this topic is this is um i think drawing the graph so how do we draw a graph i've uh, conveniently used a uh, straight line graph to demonstrate this because on a computer curve is not possible to sketch or even um, well it is possible to sketch but not possible to plot so let's start looking at how do you um, plot this graph for straight line graph we first of all look at uh, the y-intercept which is negative and uh, negative 2 which is marked right here sorry for this um, pale and not obvious horizontal line but it's there now we need to use the gradient for our own good use um, let us try to substitute values for the x-coordinate right here we know that um, x is 1, y we want to know, so we solve it. 1 times 3 minus 2 is 1, so the y is right here. And if you have, have a ruler, you can draw a straight line. Um, did I mess up? Yes, I did. I can't believe it. And I'm teaching math, and I mess up. Well, well, well. Okay, that is the line you wanted uh, because you only need two points to get the correct answer. If you're not c comfortable with your um, kind of coordinates uh, management, then you're better off having even more points, one on the left of zero, one on the right of zero, to ensure that line is correct and accurate. Um, then for plotting you are generally not plotting for sketching you generally use some kind of a cross and, and basically always label X and Y but I'm too lazy for oh my goodness that Y why be that way oh that's a terrible pun so for this graph we know that 3x is a positive, co uh, positive um, 
gradient, so it must go from bottom to top. Uh, not with this tool. Nope. From bottom to the top, but we need to know where it crosses Y. And I know this is a really bad attempt, but I'll stop here. This is positive gradient and for a gradient that is positive it would accept this answer as one mark then now we have to plot where the y-intercept is which is negative 2 and that is the second thing that you need to get full map on pl uh, plotting a graph and sketching a graph that's the word um, so plotting accurate and gradient must be true this one doesn't matter you don't need to label the axis or anything like that and I should probably myself uh, label these but I'm way too lazy to do that I'm really sorry and uh, some special thing to note uh, you can pause the video here to um, capture this kind of screen but now I will remove this part to give you two special things in graph plotting or drawing which is vertical lines and horizontal lines it uses special equations for horizontal line it has um, essentially zero gradient so all the x equals zero so it's only left with the y-intercept value which is a constant it's horizontal always for vertical it's similar but now that y is the constant so the x value it doesn't matter where the x is um, no it x uh, is just that it's how should I say the line will be at where x is it will cross uh, x zero but it will not uh, cross x minus one zero it doesn't work that way and yeah basically that's all from plotting and drawing <sighs> I swear I always mess up plotting sketching and drawing I just said plotting and drawing I believe which is completely wrong I apologize again for that now sketching remember you need the general gradient if it's positive go positive gradient if it's negative go negative and for the y-intercept make sure it's if it's positive it crosses above the x-axis if it's negative crosses below the x-axis and remember to label that intercept for plotting just accurate for every single point you if you are not sure about how to plot a graph then it's a, always a good idea to do it for each x value which will take a lot of time but if you aren't co comfortable with it then it's well worth so yeah well actually I've got a question here so this is good I guess I want you to plot the graph y equals 2x minus 1 I know this is not centered but I don't have the space for it I can capture the whole s screen at once so yeah basically um, I want you to do something similar to this find a graph paper or something and I want to say if I ever forget to label the center of a graph red out most likely always use this graph and remember the center is where 0 0 is so plot the graph y equals 2x minus 1 I'll give you some time to pause the video and I will give you the answer here we have it this is the plotted graph the y intercept is negative 1 which is under this uh, axis the x-axis uh, it has a gradient of 2 if you know how to find the gradient is y divided by x 
and in calculus we'll use dy over dx which I'll talk about it in that chapter or maybe I have talked about it in that chapter but doesn't matter um, for my new viewers um, yeah y over x uh, no yeah y over x is the gradient so that is 2 over 1 which is 2 so that is it for this video I hope you enjoy if you did leave me a like give me some comments yada 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 everything like that and I will see you next time